Hello everyone, I'm Wei Chen Bi from Peking University, and I'm glad to introduce our work, Future Render, NEC Web GPU's power for enhanced graphics performance on web browsers. Web graphics rendering is foundational for many web applications, such as online games, web-based virtual reality, and digital exhibitions. Well, WebGL is widely used as the primary web graphics APIs. Its basis in WebGL ES limits its compatibility with modern hardware. In contrast, WebGPU builds upon D3D12, Meta, and Walken, holding significant potential and promising new avenues for evolution of graphics rendering in web browsers. On the other hand, web, on the one hand, WebGPU reduces CPU overhead. It minimizes language translation overhead by aligning seamlessly with modern hardware requirements. Additionally, WebGPU streamlines runtime performance by omitting error checks for each comment. On the other hand, WebGPU reduces data communication between CPU and GPU. In WebGPU, the traditional approach of configuring individual states as global states has been replaced. Instead, all pipeline states are combined as pre-packed configurations and can be effortlessly copied to the GPU designated destination via memory copying. To evaluate WebGPU's potential practically, we employ and both WebGPU and WebGL to render an equal number of moving objects. As we can see in this figure, across diverse level of graphics complexity, WebGPU-based rendering exhibits superior performance compared to WebGL. Currently, there is rapid development in the field of graphics rendering frameworks utilizing WebGPU. We collect the most popular WebGPU-based graphics rendering frameworks by searching on GitHub using the keyword WebGPU and selecting rendering frameworks with more than 1,000 stars. We then compare WebGPU-based graphics rendering frameworks with their WebGL counterparts. Surprisingly, the performance of WebGPU-based rendering falls behind that of WebGL-based frameworks. This misalignment with the potential of WebGPU is unexpected. The main issue here is that the current frameworks does not effectively harness the potential of WebGPU. For current frameworks, each object is rendered separately, leading to individual transmission for drawing comments and graphic data buffers to the GPU. However, due to WebGPU's compatibility for global rendering global pipeline configurations, the multiple pipeline can be rendered can be merged to reduce communication overhead. The desired system involves merging the rendering of different objects. After grouping the object, each group can be rendered collectively, and the drawing comments and data for the entire group can be transmitted to the GPU as a unified unit. To achieve the goal, we face several challenges. The first issue is how to determine which object can be merged. The feasibility of merging diverse graphics into a single rendering pipeline hinges on something other than the graphics chips, but rather on their rendering configurations. Another challenge is how to consider consolidate data and computations at the same time. The data position from multiple objects in the buffer can shift after merging, requiring identifying the correct data during calculations. To fully enlist the potential of WebGPU, we introduce Fusion Render, a system designed to enhance graphics rendering performance in web browsers by merging graphics rendering and reducing communication overhead. Fusion Render takes user-defined configurations and, as input and generates WebGPU comments and buffers as output. It initially groups objects and consolidates graphics rendering within the same group. In the beginning, Fusion Render extracts the necessary object and the context information. During scene rendering, the renderer initially forwards these configurations to the object analyzer for examination. The object analyzer obtains a distinctive signature for each object, encompassing all requisite data from configuring the rendering pipeline. The object classifier then segregates objects into groups based on their signatures, allowing objects with the same group to be joined using a shared rendering pipeline. For each group, for each object cluster, a dedicated rendering pipeline is crafted by their signatures and grouping outcomes. A pipeline catch is implemented to circumvent the creation of a redundant pipeline and GPU buffer. The requisite data and comments for drawing each set of objects are submitted to the browser, 
circumventing in GPU driving rendering. Fusion render groups objects to determine which objects can be combined for rendering. To decide which object should belong to the same group, we give a signature to each object and group objects with identical signature. To identify objects with matching signatures, we establish a map. Its keys are the harsh value of the signature and the corresponding values are the list of objects sharing that signature. A signature consists of a series of names and values representing the configuration requirements for the object's rendering pipeline. The hash value of a signature is obtained by concatenating the names and values and converting them into a stream. To describe the rendering pipeline configuration for an object, it is necessary to specify the contents of several components in the signature, including attributes, shaders, fragment targets, primitives, div stencil, and multi-sample. The table displays the names and data types of specific value for each component. Different signatures need different rendering pipelines. For instance, graphics with a line list topology necessary a different pipeline compared to those with a triangle list topology. On the contrary, when the configuration of the rendering pipeline remains consistent and only the graphics shape differs, it is possible to employ the same pipeline for rendering. After classifying objects based on their signatures, merged rendering can be performed for each group. Dynamic buffers contain data that need to be updated every frame during rendering, including camera viewpoints, scene angles, and graphic properties like position, scale, rotation, color, opacity, and more. For multiple objects, data from individual objects is concatenated based on a single object's dynamic data and passed into a shared a shader such as Struct's array for interpretation. The graphics index is passed to the draw function, allowing us to locate the specific data from the merged dynamic data by finding the needed struct from the struct array. Graphics rendering is performed through the vertex and figment stages. The index can be included in the output of the vertex stage and subsequently used as the input in the fragment stage, completing the index transfer process. Static buffers, conversely, contain data that remains nearly constant during rendering and typically corresponding to a set of data for each vertex of the graphics, including vertex attributes such as position, normal, UV, condition, UV coordinates. During merge rendering, static data from different graphics is concatenated and the offset of each graphics data in the large area is recorded. WebGPU supports reading data from static buffers starting from a specific offsite. By passing vertex cones and static offsites to the draw function, we can retrieve the corresponding static data for each graphics. Building upon the above mentioned method, we have considered dividing the merge operation into several batches for submission via optimizing speed splitting charge to further enhance the performance. When constructing merge data, the GPU addles creating a GPU bubble. Splitting the process into several smaller groups allows the GPU to handle more of the contents when the CPU prepares the data for subsequent rendering. However, merging into smaller groups introduces more CPU overhead and data transfer operations than merging into a large group, leading to a trade-off in this approach. We implement a prototype of Fusion Render for 3.js. We use our renderer for the web GPU rendering process, as most graphics rendering frameworks have the same key components. We can apply a similar integration approach to replace the rendering and seamlessly incorporate with our system for other frameworks. The experimental devices consist of a MacBook Pro, a ThinkPad X1 Yoga, and a Pixel 6. The processor includes Chrome and Firefox. Our experiments are divided into simulated experiments and real-world scenario experiments. We conduct simulated experiments to test the performance of Fusion Render under various level of C complexity. We progressively increase the number of render cubes and measure the performance of Fusion Render as well as existing frameworks. As performance improvements may vary across different levels of C complexity, we report our experimental results using the median perform performance enhancement. Fusion Render demonstrates a median rendering performance improvement 
of 29.3% to 122.1% compared to the existing optimal baseline. Here we present a demo comparing 3.js 3 web GPU and Fusion Render. It can be observed that Fusion Render achieves higher FPS and smoother rendering. We explore the performance of Fusion Render in real-world scenarios with more advanced functionality and complex scenes. These examples have different kinds of object, object shaders for multiple lighting, hierarchical graphic structure, or random object position distribution. As a result, Fusion Render lead to performance improvement ranging from 9.4% to 39.7%. We analyze the impact of the optimal splitting search on performance. Since WebGPU uniform buffer can host less data than the storage buffer, but offers faster speed, we consider both the buffer type and the number of speed groups. The optimal choice varies for different scenarios. In cases with relatively few overall graphics, the use of uniform buffer yields better results, while for other scenarios, the larger grouping overheads offset the benefits of uniform buffers. In summary, we introduced Fusion Render, a system designed to leverage the capability of WebGPU by reducing redundant communications. Thanks for listening, and I'm ready to take questions.